of Minnesota's legislative session, we're getting a better idea of what the DFL wants to take on and how Republicans are responding. Northern News Now's Quinn Gorham is in St. Paul for us again tonight. Quinn. We've said it time and again, but $17 billion is the largest budget surplus in Minnesota legislative history. Today, the DFL unveiled their list of legislative priorities, beginning first and foremost with reproductive rights and access to abortion. Now, some of the priorities further down this list could directly benefit the Northland, and one could hit the floor as early as next week. We truly are moving swiftly, more swiftly than I can remember in my 18 years of service, because that's what Minnesotans expect and deserve. After eight years of legislative gridlock, Minnesota DFLers are singing a different tune this week. We're aligned on our values and our priorities, and we're ready to work hard and work quickly to meet the needs of Minnesotans. The DFL is promising a sweep of legislation in the coming weeks, much of it aimed at the state as a whole. Some lawmakers, though, are eager to make an immediate impact in the Northland. Our workers uh, at the North Shore Mine in Babbitt and uh, the processing plant in Silver Bay have been, uh, you know, laid off since May. Uh, and so early on throughout the summer, we called for a special session to address their unemployment. But with both parties unable to agree, that session never happened, and those unemployment benefits expired a month ago. Now, Senator Grant Housechild and Representative Dave Lizlegard are bringing it back to the floor, hoping to provide some relief for those 410 laid-off minors. Um, so we had folks going into the holidays, going into the winter months uh, without that pay. Uh, and so this is just a really, really critical need. So we have an opportunity to move things quickly, both being in the majority, to help these families. And, and that's what we're both really committed to doing. Liz Lagarde says the bill could hit the floor this month. So I have a, a hearing we're hoping for next week, um, but we do have to go through the process. Liz Lagarde and Housechild both touting what they call the benefits of a trifecta. We have a wonderful opportunity to come together and deliver for the people of Northeast Minnesota and across the state of Minnesota. We're going to see some other legislation start moving here pretty quickly. The DFL on Thursday hopes to introduce a bill that would protect reproductive rights across the state of Minnesota. That bill would codify a Minnesota Supreme Court decision that protects the right to abortion for all Minnesotans. In St. Paul, Quinn Gorham, Northern News Now. Thank you, Quinn. Meanwhile, Minnesota Republicans called the DFL's priorities divisive in a statement. They say rather than getting right to work, balancing the budget and returning the surplus to Minnesotans, DFLers are rushing through their own priorities without bipartisan support. Our Republican spokespeople say their party will continue fighting for middle class tax cuts, public safety funding, student achievement and keeping energy affordable.